if you've ever felt like an outsider in any sense from mainstream culture, like this is really a platform for you. Others can't tell our stories the way that we can. No one else can tell you my experience the way that I can share it. And that's really the point of now that it's really coming from these voices in these marginalized communities. I grew up in predominantly white communities my entire life, and I never really had any experiences with the African American community until I was 18 and like went to Howard. I didn't necessarily fit in with the African students per se, who were born and raised back home and then came here, like they still have their accents. So it's like, to them, I was very much an American, like I sound American. <laughs> I was born in America, but to the African American students, I was African. I was the girl who talked white and you know, I didn't understand the whole like mac and cheese thing because growing up, my parents were making like jollof rice. Like I wasn't eating mac and cheese. <laughs> Identity is allowed to be this complex, like layered, beautiful thing. It doesn't have to be all inclusive. If someone doesn't practice the same religion as you or doesn't love the same gender as you and you're not open to learning from their perspective and like how they're still a human being, it really just like runs the risk of like damaging like our social cohesion in the sense.